has rubbed uncomfortably. You find a burnished <laughs> steel wolf's head regimental crest. You find an inscribed sword belt for exemplary military service. And what were your last two rolls? Uh, three and a two. You find another crest. And you have a collection of foreign coins strung together on a piece of twine. And then also, you find five leather coin purses that contain all together fifty six gold pieces and <laughs> three hundred silver pieces. Right? As well as <laughs> he keeps board. all of it. What do I want a wolf's head crest for? What Three don't you want it for? Three, five potions of healing. Oh, wow. That's more. I guess look, Nevin. I, look, is... I found three potions of healing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I give one to everyone. For... Oh, thank you. Nice. <laughs> I was just joking there. How much gold <laughs> did you find? Uh, what, Whatever he said. 50, whatever. Okay. Like, Okay. It was more silver than gold, wasn't if, it? If we split it 50 50, right, we can just you know, keep it away from everybody else. Yeah. Oh, well, who, whoever's in charge, yeah. So oh, yeah. All that stuff he said, I just bring back and, like, here. I don't right, know cool. if anything's worth anything to it. What us. is a wolf's head crest? Like the Lore. Witcher. I want it. Actually, that's not Asmodeus. I don't want it. I'm going to take the ointment. <laughs> <laughs> If no one else wants it, as the one as the part as the party member that wears the heaviest armor, and I think I need some ointment. Thick and pasty. But it smells It's basically like gold bond. Yeah, it's like <laughs> Yeah, I mean does it actually have any use? It does if you put your mind to it. Okay, Gentlemen, here. we should go open that door now. Yep. Sounds good. Does it though? To the, the door cave. Na, 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 na. I don't. Can we have the mage hand open it? <laughs> I, that, that's a question. Course, question for Felix. I'd. Uh, I'd like to check the door. Yeah, go ahead. Make sure that there's I mean, we... no uh, <clears throat> traps that this key may set off. Okay. Uh, investigation. Yes. Woo! Round and round she goes. Seven. Looks like a keyhole. Right, back up, boys. Everybody back up. <laughs> He's gonna do some magical shit right now. I'm gonna... I'll, I'll hand you the key. Yeah. Let's see, how far is 30 feet? This is like, this is like the yeah. fucking hawk about ready to snap here. Yeah, I'm gonna go 30 feet is back. about 3,600 inches. No, so, there you go. Uh, I will <laughs> hand the key to my invisible know. mage hand. And woo, ghostly open the door with the key. And as the key turns in the lock, a delayed blast fireball explodes. It's only been waiting there for about a thousand years. <laughs> the door, the key turns in the hole. And the stone shifts with a rumble, revealing a single iron-bound chest. Dibs. Oh, wait, what, what the fuck uh, is this? It's hold, closed. Hold, hold on, hold on. Do you remember that time that the chest tried to eat us? Yeah, I opened that chest. <laughs> I'll do it a fucking again. Okay. <laughs> He's like, worth it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, is the, is the, it, it's, it's iron bound, so is it locked again? It's not. It doesn't look to have a, a pad. Just open. I would is, like. Is Tibble strong enough to even lift the, to the top? Shut up! I'm gonna <laughs> attempt to open it. As he charges in, it's like sometimes they're trapped. As I stay outside the room, <laughs> it's okay, guys. I have temporary hit points, and I'll open the I attempt to open the chest. <laughs> the chest opens, no. and inside is a single leather-bound tome. 
I open the leather bound tome. Okay. Lore dump. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah. Doesn't matter what language it's in, I can read all languages and all writing. <laughs> Tibalt's like, I can I cast Fireball in 17 languages. This, this is the secret of Fireball. Maybe, does that book say anything about uh, who that guy was we dredged out of, well, the wind dredged out of the lake? Hang on, I haven't gotten past the, the table Ignore contents that. yet. I'm it looking was, at the bibliography. Pym <laughs> has been dead the whole time. Oh my god! Fuck off! No, I better not. I'm. I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh, how could I be dead? I just don't I'm want Pyrian to be like. Man. I don't want Pyrian to be the big bad because he's great. <laughs> um, is this is this all the leatherbound tome says, Ryan? No, there's more. I just can't read all at once. That, that makes sense. That's what he said. Um, I'm not worried about what he found or what he's reading. I go inside. Is there a way to close this door and reopen it from the inside? Doesn't look to be. Shit. There's not like a keyhole on the inside or anything? Nope. The door's just gone as well as the key. Ah, fuck! fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Stupid wizards and their fucking stupid magic disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> right, who who knows anything? Oh, Hot. I guess I'll keep Yo, going. Long rest, secret room, bullshit. Name. <laughs> really don't scratch me. Thank you. Okay. Look at this okay, distinguished little kitty cat. Look at this tiny little calico of death and destruction. Look at this little terrorist of everything that I love. Look at this tiny 14 pounds of pure, undulterated asshole. <laughs> okay. Um, you gotta put that tick question, count sound behind it. Question for the people here. What is the date of today? What is today's date in game? Today? It's like 1451. DR 1451? Yep. I assume. Well, this tome was written about a thousand years ago. Oh, what? Uh, let's see. I'll read it word for word because I have a good reading voice. DR-449 Maglodoth was banished from this plane, although not before Ilfarn was destroyed. I am the last of my kin, and I have no one left to confide in. I hear faint whispers from the orbs. They wish freedom from their prison. What a fool to think I could contain such power. I do not know what other choice I had. DR-450 I must return to the forge and dispose of the orbs once and for all. They are too dangerous to be kept, and no one can be trusted to keep them besides me. No one can know of my journey. The other members of the council saw their power, and this is only a matter of time before they seek them for themselves. DR-450 again. I have arrived at the mine. I was turned away by the dwarves there. Curse them. I did so much to protect their home, and just seek use of the forge one more time. D-451. I have disguised myself as a human wizard by the name of... Mormesk. Dwarves allowed me inside to inspect the area of flooding. I collapsed the tunnels nearest to the flooding to slow it and gain their trust. They have allowed me to set up a small research room. I'll try to sneak into the forge soon to carry out my task. ER-451. The forge seems different, as if its power was leaking. I must investigate further. ER-452. The orbs have to... The orbs have communicated with someone. A vast army of goblinoids were seen approaching the mines... I thought I sensed one of the council members probing my mind, only for a moment before the link was severed. I hope the dwarves know what they are talking about when it comes to their defenses. DR452 The sounds of drums echo throughout the cavern, the hammer at the gate. They seem to have magic users of great power. I don't think the gates will hold much longer. I cannot find where the energy of the forge is leaking. Maybe I missed something. 
DR-452. The gates have breached the sound of arms reaching me in my chamber. Thanathor. That's all it says. And, for anyone, <laughs> and I'll post it in the thing. Did he, did he, he, did he say that the, the orbs have to go into the forge to be destroyed? So, I believe that was his plan. Yeah. Um, where do I post lore stuff? Important, I assume? I think important. it went in... Or announcements might be okay, because there's a lot of stuff in important now. I'll just... I'll do important, and I'll just pin it if I can. As he was reading this, I'm going to slip I into the room. I can pin it if else can. I want to check this chest to see if there are any hidden compartments or secret areas to it. Hmm. Uh, investigation? Yeah, do it. Uh, 18. 18. There does seem to be a false floorboard beneath where the tome lied. I would like to peruse under this false floorboard. You know when they tell you to expect the unexpected. Eh, I should have checked for traps. Oh no, I'm yeah. talking about myself. Oh. I mean, you let me play a rogue, so you should expect the unexpected. <laughs> yeah, we've never had this skill set in the party. <laughs> Power was leaking. Uh, all right, guys, there's nothing in here. Let's go. Why do I feel like we've heard that name before? Insight check? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've been a squirrely man. I don't. I mean, I, I like you, but I don't trust you. <laughs> I told you right up front, I'm going to steal everything I can. Yeah. And he's not, he hasn't even told me anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> so... This is a thousand years ago? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Before, when, right before the mine was attacked by orcs, it seems. And our dreams took place 50-ish years ago? Yes. The, the one-shot dream? Yeah. Yep. So some of those folks could still be alive. Oh, we know one of them is still around. Alive is maybe the wrong term. Well, if Maglodoth was banished a thousand years ago and re-released about 50 years ago? That's not good. If that was Maglodoth. Yeah, we don't know. <laughs> we know it's... No, I, I know that's true. Of that's I true. have the dreams, so I'm not sure what you guys are talking about. That's Maglodoth was the, the dragon in the stars. Yeah. Oh, is that and is the, that the guy that I owed a debt to? And the no, other the is <laughs> we're gonna have to bring you up to speed on some of this stuff. I'm the <laughs> other tell me who to kill know, who to steal from. <laughs> we know it the the other consumed Maglodoth in the vision or the story. They join somehow. <laughs> I need to. I need a visual timeline. Yeah, we, we know. <laughs> we'll, we can work up, that up. out. I need a horizontal line with marks in it. <laughs> <laughs> Maglodoth's corruption was from before what happened at the mine. The other book, which I think I still have, yeah, it's still in the chat, has the the information about the constellations and the. wizard that created the orbs to defeat Maglodoth happened about that time right before he traveled to the mine. So a little bit over a thousand years ago. And there was an elf of the Elefarn Empire that created the orbs to banish as well as counsel of other wizards of humans, other elves, gnomes. Suppose there's a slight chance that an elf that made the orbs is still alive. 
elves live for a long time, right? They do. What about a thousand? But a thousand years? I don't think so. Yeah, that I don't know. Had to be an old elf, but immortality's not. Possible. The name of the elf wizard was in previous lore. Yeah, I thought so. Wait, Wind might know. Oh, I'm sorry. Say that again. I was responding to a, a work message. Wind knows who created the orbs. Oh, yeah, I definitely know who created the orbs. Okay, the book. His name was in the book. What I picked up. Only with the help of a great wizard, Fanathor, using the orbs and the blade of dragonkind, was the void dragon banished. Well, hang on. Maybe this... Was this Fanathor? Oh, you, shit. It, it was like his you diary. Yeah. Read this it with the diary that signed means, by him. That means... No, 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 no. Fanathor was, like, dated at the bottom. So I assume this was written by Fanathor, which means... The guy in the water... Was Fanathor. Was Fanathor. Fanathor. He must have been very powerful. He had a waterproof bag. <laughs> yeah. I guess that bag was down there for a thousand years. That's what I'm saying. It's waterproof. <laughs> That's money we could make off of that. It's like, it's like that tape you can buy that you just stick on the side of a like a broken hole. And flex it's like tape. Water. Yeah. It's a Let's flex get bag. the flex seal. We Fanatore's saw this previous. boat in half. Experiments resulted in a flex spray, yes. which he sprayed all over a leather satchel. It brought him great renown throughout the Elephant Empire. Gentlemen, gentlemen, while I like lore and the implications that this book brings us, we should move on. Okay. And yeah. on that note, do we want to consolidate try this later? Since we, since we can't seal this room back, there was that room toward the front where we found the chest, which seemed defensible it had the one door and i feel like they know we're here yeah and they I'm sent not, those I'm... hobgoblins after us i'm just saying does anyone need a long rest i think we i think win is the most tired out of all of us but we can make it without a rage do our best anyway definitely could definitely use it but like necessary we should go kill that spider. I'm I'm tired of waiting, but then I all just... means. I just realized I was on mute this the whole time. I hold I'm on a sorry. second. Sorry, one second. Um, if we think about it logically, you don't ever notice something when it doesn't directly affect you. So I totally agree. We could continue to go ahead, but the amount of damage and damage I take with the rage makes these fights a lot easier. So that's Maybe. up to you guys, but I don't think you would be going with a, without a huge buff. I don't. Th the longer we wait, the more they can bring up their defenses and anticipation for us. If we give them eight hours to prepare or escape know, entirely, what, yeah, they could just escape. Also, Wynn wouldn't say this out loud either. But if we get a full rest, I get all those fancy spell slots back. I don't even know you have spell slots. What exactly. You don't even know what a spell slot is. <laughs> you do too. I have those. That's about, I'm talking to win. Oh, okay. You. <laughs> All right. Well, do we want to go back through the room with the pool, or do we want to go back to the lighting through the through the uh, the lightning bolt? I think um, the pool. Room. Yeah. Okay. I feel like we should go to the pool room. <laughs> All right. Then let's go back through the the pool room. What What did you find in the uh, in the chest? <laughs> uh, apparently nothing. Oh, that's fine. Well, there's, yeah, a false, know. there's a false. There's a foot. Oh, I messaged did. you. Oh, you did. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't even look. Twenty thousand platinum. Hold on, I might need that bag of holding. <laughs> <laughs> there's only so much money you can carry before it becomes a problem. You yeah, see I Felix know. behind <laughs> you trying to fly with his pockets dragging on the ground. Felix, you <laughs> dropped this weird-looking silver. <laughs> Felix, you're dropping platinum everywhere. <laughs> oh, hold on, I'm sorry. I'm trying to find the message. I would love for him to try to steal things that are like too big to actually effectively hide. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Felix, is that a is that a great sword on your back? Where'd you find that? <laughs> is that a, I don't a know. Fucking ladder? 
<laughs> Why do you have that? Reaction if you walk in, if you walk with enough confidence and a ladder, you can get in anywhere. All right, so I'm really stretching the references here. But back when I used to play The Sims 2, you could you could be a a, a burglar as a as a career, but you would get the klepto tray, and they would just like the fucker walked in a park and stole a street lamp and shoved it in his pocket. So it is doable. <laughs> I'm in. What? You Hold see, on. proceed. I'm 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 coming. I'm there. Another okay, strong-looking door directly ahead of you, and then stone steps leading further north, higher into the the mine. They look to be well-crafted dwarven construction, Ooh. and Beric, without even a religion check, you disappear into the stone wall. I mean, yeah, um, no, it's my back oh, to my yeah. people. You see carved into the stone here. Two symbols of Morden. Huh. Just like the symbols of like the um It was the the forge with the hammer. Okay. Huh. I mean I guess that's not entirely weird given that dwarves built this place, but the fact that there were Maybe, like, San Lenore here? Like, actually, Morgan's clerics? Could be... Could be interesting. And they line the wall heading up towards the stairs? There's two, like, on each side of <laughs> for the staircase. Um, hmm. uh, gentlemen, may I, may I check for traps? Normally, when there's something on both sides of a wall, it cannot be a good thing. Sure. I think, I think, that's, I think that's prudent. That's fine. But who would use more than to trap? I agree. But... Well, but these are dwarves, so they would trap anyone other than dwarves. So you're saying Beric has to go fight the spider alone? I don't uh, think that's what... Uh, 17. <laughs> 17. You can see... At the bottom of the staircase, right between the two symbols, look to be stones that seem to be slightly raised. Hmm. Uh, gentlemen, if you will back up for a moment. Or not. Actually, I'm going to be here. <laughs> I take my mage hand, and I will go up and try and... If, if, it, if it's enough, it's only 10 pounds, I will try and press down on the first stair. Goblins are quite light. And dwarves hate goblins. <laughs> Especially green skin ones. Yes. What I heard. As uh, hey. the pressure plate pushes in. <laughs> <laughs> and a shower and rumbling as hundreds of large river stones begin to tumble down the steps. Oh shit. Pouring down, crashing, and cascading until the vast majority of them roll down into the partially collapsed tunnel behind you. But not crushing any of you. With my investigation check, would I be able to determine if this is like a one shot trap or it will reset or we just need to avoid the first two stairs? It looks like it shot its load. All right. <laughs> I say, uh, gentlemen, I say we should move quickly and I will move up, but I will fly. I won't touch the stairs. Flying over the stairs, you find yourself in a gold inlaid hallway. The gold kind of dull from time and dust. It seems to split two ways. One leading down another staircase where you hear the sound of rushing water. And the left towards another collapsed tunnel. But it seems like the passage splits to the north before the collapsed tunnel. Uh, I will peek around the corner to the east. You see a large natural cavern here, at least 40 feet tall, an underground river running through and down, making a small waterfall here where you see 
debris, rocks, all strewn about. Looks to be an old abandoned dig site. I will relay that information to the rest of my party. Would from here from the stairs, would I be able to see uh that waterway that would go down to the forge we were at before? Yeah, you could see far it. Away? Yeah, you could okay. see it. All right. I think okay. that you have let me see. I have sixty feet of dark vision. Yeah, that it'd be <laughs> dim, but you could see that there's a maybe not know it's the waterway, but can see a an opening. An opening. Okay. So, so I'd uh, be able to put two and two together. Possibly with the water there, with the river. So, uh, it which, does look uh, like this water has been redirected at some point, maybe just from falling rubble, maybe from something else, but it does seem to be leading into another passageway to the north as well. The north. Okay. We right. see another small opening, much harder to see. Well, uh, which way should we should, should we proceed? I, I, I say we, for left. I say we follow the gold. Uh, I don't that, know what that means. That the there, dig were, sites, there, right? there were gold. There were gold inlays on the walls, right? The, in oh, this hallway. Yep. When in doubt, left we go. Um, I will peek around this corner. As you peek around, you see heavy set stone doors, both inscribed with the face of a helmeted, bearded dwarven warrior on each door, both gazing back at you, large emeralds set in their eye sockets, gleaming even in the darkness. Uh, is there any like script or uh, wording on it? Above, I don't speak, I don't where speak the door dwarven, connects so. to the roof does seem to be made of dwarven roof. <clears throat> right, I will do a fancy. I know. I'll just fly across. I'll move over to this side. Uh, maybe a dwarf can come up and read that. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a look. Not dwarfish. I can read all right. No, I know you can read it too. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Make all languages null and void for everybody else. <laughs> I can only read. If anybody speaks it, they're going to have to talk to you. In the dwarven runes, it reads to you, Hall of the Creator. Huh. I don't think the creator was ever mentioned in any of the texts. But no. my my guess would be this door says hall of the creator. My guess would be this is maybe either the creator is the forge or the creator is like a position, a title. Is, is Morden not the creator of the dwarves? Didn't Morden, Morden is the creator of the dwarves. But I don't think Morden is here. <laughs> So, well, if you just go up there no, with like a symbol of Morden, maybe the door will open. We've seen some Morden imagery, yes? Sure, yeah. And He's the I, I just did, yeah. Maybe go oh. as um, a message of Morden. Bow, bow, bow. So, I'll, uh, I'll approach the door sort of slowly. Um, he said there's. Are there, is there like you said they're heavy set like metal doors stone stone stone, stone. and then is like a ring or whatever on them to open them or what is the the mechanism by which to open them or is it not clear set as you get closer <laughs> set kind of hidden where the half helm meets the nose and where the beard begins you see what look to be once nose rings seem to be handles pull okay. rings. I don't know. 
Should I just open these doors? Uh, I, I can Do check I... for a trap. I mean... Open it. Do yeah, I... I, I, I guess I'm concerned. But we already ran into one trap here, right? I mean, I think that they were beset. And so... But these doors are not broken open. I don't know. If, if this place was created by dwarves and at all, and this is truly a place of Morden, this could have been a final refuge, this could have been a hiding place, Sure. This could have been a, a, a temple for them to access while they were working down here. I'll take that um, that amulet um, of Morden that I have, and I'll hold I'm it in a, my hand. I'm not a dwarf, so I back up. <laughs> yeah, I think that's fine. As you proceed. Yeah, I'll take that amulet of Morden that I have and hold it in my hand. And uh, grab the ring and pull. Holding in your hand, you grab on the ring and the doors, though heavy, seem to ease open with a large rumble as the doors creak open, revealing a hall with six cracked marble pillars lining the walls. At the very north end, you see what looks to be a statue of a nine-foot-tall dwarf seated on a throne, what once was a mighty stone warhammer across his lap. Two large emeralds gleam in the statue's eyes, but the rest of it seems decrepit. Looks to have been crumbled. Seems to be old blood stains thrown upon it. Pieces of it ripped apart, but the eyes do remain gleaming. That's also, like doors. in Fuck. the room, <laughs> you find what looks to be a dark elf standing with his back to you and what's to be black studded leather armor draped over robes. In his hand he holds a blade that looks to be have a gap in the middle as they both turn into what looks to be two twin fangs. He turns his head to you, you see gleaming red eyes and red energy crackles in his hands. Now, oh. monologue time. Hmm. That means well. no lucky coin. <laughs> Pull out your paper corners. <laughs> Quick, somebody stab him while he's expositioning. Can we take this time to all slowly walk in. <laughs> uh, position yourselves within like 10 feet of coming. Up. Not too, too far. Sure. Yeah, just make you. sure everybody fits in a fireball. Like, I think that's like a great. I'm, yeah, come on out here. I was probably pretty good where I was. Just peeking around the corner. Yes, one but, fireball. But if, you need, if you need me to go in, I can go no, in. No, 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 you don't have to. I was just, they wanted to come in. I'm, I'm good right there. Just. Oh, Game of Thrones in. music for my episode. If, if he's talking, yeah, we're, I'm definitely going to be like going in just to, to listen. I'm fucking steaming, though. And I'm fucking mad. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and from behind his robe steps, one ear down, one ear pointing straight at attention, a Harangon wizard who really <laughs> likes to jump and cast Ray of Frost. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get him out of here. Frickin' Pip. The Pip and the Dead. <laughs> where did where did that app, uh, that that rabbit wasn't me? Where did that come from? It's um one of Baz's probably one win. shot. Yeah, probably. Oh, win. okay. Okay. What? Yeah. <laughs> You're the one who had the art. I do. Anyway, monologue. This Ready is... for the monologue now? You've been yeah. waiting for this. No. Yeah. Well, I see the flies have finally made it down. Actually, let me turn the music off real quick because it's very distracting. And then we'll do the monologue. Well, I see the flies have finally made it down to visit the web. And for what? To end me. To stop me and foil my plans. What do you know of my plans? Shall I tell you? Shall I tell you that my family was murdered before my own eyes, by my own people? Aww. I had to watch my siblings beg for their life before being put to the blade. Shall I tell you that I had to flee? rather than fight 
for any shred of hope that I may avenge them. Shall I tell you that everything I have done, everything, has been to see their lives and sacrifice given meaning to hold their murders accountable. And this is what they have wrought. More blood on their hands. I'm searching for ways to avenge my family and doing it the only way I can because of my heritage, my people's reputation. <laughs> if you are not already convinced that you must kill me, then I implore you to let me access the Forge of Power. Let me glean from it what I need to arm myself, and I will be gone from here, peacefully. If not, however, then let us get to it. I have many things I must still do. Um, is it our turn? Is it our turn? Because I would like to take this. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. <clears throat> I'm going to step forward here. Uh, soon to be Townmaster Wynn. Um, now, I really enjoyed that whole story, but it really just, to me, sounds like you're doing that thing that the squishy skins call uh, complaining. See, like, I watched my dad murder my mom, and then he tried to murder me with a cursed knife and all that stuff, whatever. And I, I'm not, you know, going around corrupting towns and murdering people because, of, well, I am murdering people, but, you know, murdering bad people. So, I mean, your story doesn't really check out here. You Can have I insight to all... check as he, as he listens to win? Yeah. You have the gall to like, grovel in front of us asking for access to the forge for the, all of the bullshit that you have put us through. It, 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 I can't... I, it's just unbelievable. I did what I had to. And so will we. 30-20 on the inside check. <laughs> Your little bitch, stop fighting me! From what he said to you, it does seem like... He was telling the truth. Yeah, we all have sob may, stories, my dude. May your soul forever rest in the deepest layer of hell when we are done with you. Tybalt over here is cursed and is no longer an attractive that. human. How did how did he how did you get in here to this point without seeing the forge? The forge has many layers of protection. One cannot just simply walk to the forge. A great a different forge. presence lies and makes its rest here and defends it viciously. I have lost many of my allies trying to gain access to it. Sorry, you cut out. Did you say Morden's essence? Uh, a great presence. Oh, a great presence. It causes ones that were once dead to stir. The... The skull. Oh shit. 